in your eyes, what would be a successful season for UCF in 2017? I want undefeated, man. I want to win every game. You know, um, if we come out and we execute and we play our hardest and we win the game, it's still a win to me. You know, I'll pick up my teammates and, um, you know, just keep going along with it. We're trying to build this um, university and take it to new places. So i um, very excited to see what this year takes us. Do you think this team could win every game this year? I definitely think this team can win every game this year. Go ahead, pinch yourself. I promise you, you won't wake up. The reality is, we witness more than perfection. We witness a group of boys become men and teammates turn family. A family with one goal. Each and every one of us, they doubt it, and it doesn't stop here. They gonna keep doubting us, and they doubting us now. 12 guys straight, baby, we did it. We were proud so long, boy. We've been working so hard. Oh, yeah, I'm man. telling you, we've been a family all year. Yeah, we fought the fight. That's right. We finished the race. Let's go. And we kept our faith, man. Don't let nobody stand in your way. There's another team standing in our way of our journey, our path. And we will remove them just like everybody else. And what this family may lack in history, they made up for it in heart. Remember, guys, the football gods don't care. The other thing nobody knows about football uniforms are, they can't see how big your heart is. I know, I know, I know from being around you guys for two years, most of you guys got bigger heart than this whole world. You got a bigger heart than that group does, you got a bigger heart than any team I've ever been around. And that's all that matters. But what's a family without a big brother? Let's get ready for a fight. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Fight like you haven't fought before, run like you haven't run before, together. A group of brothers going out there. Let's overcome. First play, hit them in the face. Keep hitting them in the face. Let them know they're in for a fight. A group of guys that loves each other, cares about each other, and plays hard for each other no matter what. Let's go out and prove something to the world. Here we go, boys. Yeah! Yeah! Somebody's got to eat now! Somebody's got to eat! For seniors that are in their fifth year, the moment is amazing. They were there for the Fiesta Bowl run. They were part of 0 and 12. And today they'll close out the career, those in their fifth year, by playing in another major college football game. And here we go. The signal to play. And the 2018 Chick fil A Peach Bowl is underway. Here's the snap on first down, and McKenzie will play fake. Look, he'll throw out. It's incomplete through it ahead of Jordan Akins. Pass is going to be incomplete. He had a receiver open. Jordan Akins turned to the last second. He'll try to dance outside, back pedal to try to throw. His pass is going to be incomplete. Gabe Davis covered on the far side. Both offenses got off to a slow start, and what looked like a second three and out for Auburn quickly turned into points. And Stidham. Drops the throw, he looks, he looks, pressure comes, steps up, now tries to get outside, there's no flags for holding it, he still rolls right, he'll throw, the pass is going to be, is it caught? It is, inside the 30 for Auburn to the 25 yard line. Jaquan Burgett had a little bit of the coverage in his face, and the Tigers will bring out the field goal unit with 7.06 to go, score this first quarter. Place down, kick on the way, it's up and the kick is good. Hey, third down, DBs, you guys gotta blast through your asses off. Right, we're getting home with the rush, he's just, he's just going all the way around the back and he just gotta throw one up. Although Milton continued to struggle through the air, the sophomore quarterback made up for it with his feet. McKenzie's gonna run, 40, 45, he's got a first down in midfield. The McKenzie Milton, a tough start, two of 10, 14 yards. He's gonna try to run. 30, he'll get to the 25, first down 20, inside the 15 yard line. McKenzie Milton calls his own number. Matthew Wright hits from 33 yards out, 11 11 to play in the second quarter. Wasting no time, the Knights defense proved their speed and did what they do best force a turnover. They lose the football, picked up UCF at the 38 yard line, outside of the 45, to the 50, to the sideline, trade deal, 35, 30, look at the blockers, he's inside the 30 yard line, all the way down to the Auburn 20 yard line. Oh, yeah, boy. Let's go! Here's the snap. McKenzie drops. He looks. Here comes pressure. He's going to be hit. He'll break it. He'll get to the 20, 15, 10, to the 5. McKenzie, touchdown! They'll run from 18 yards out. And the Knights take a 9-3 lead. Woo! Second and long for Auburn. Stidham. He'll play fake. Back to throw. Looking. Pressure comes. Shaq got him. He'll drop him at the 9-yard line. Shaquem Griffin with that speed rush. 
Get sack number seven. Hey, we do that, we win. We do that, we win. We gonna get paid, bro. Unable to capitalize on good field position, the Knights were forced to punt. And the Tigers' five-star quarterback found himself with a completion streak of 12. He'll drop, rolled out to his left. He'll look to throw. His pass is going to be caught. Nice hit. And a quick screen going to be caught at the 30-yard line and a cut back to the 35-yard line. Here's the snap. He drops the throw. Looks. He throws the slant. It's going to be caught first down. Breaking a tackle. 40. Davis is hit of the 32-yard line. That he Inner shutdown corner, Mike Hughes. I'm back to throw Stidham. He looks. He throws. Deep ball downfield. Hughes is there. It's going to be tipped incomplete. Two good athletes in Darius Slate and Mike Hughes going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Forcing an Auburn field goal with 38 seconds left in the half. UCF gave Knight Nation a glimpse of what was to come. Pushed out of bounds over the 45. That's been our best play offensively as McKenzie rolling out. He runs for 15. 27 seconds in the half. McKenzie back to throw. McKenzie looks. He throws downfield. It's going to be caught. Traquan first down for the Auburn 39. Looks, going to run. He's at the 35. He's at the 30. He dives all the way down to the 28-yard line. Seven seconds on the clock. Matthew Wright hits it from 45 yards out at the end of the first half. And when we thought we might see offensive fireworks, it's been a defensive battle. Guy that's on the point has to set the edge to the outside. Uh, all right? Hey, double team you guys last time. Still run your pick game, right? So we need you here. Yes, we need you here. Go back over there. One time they ran inside zone, and KG, you fell back in. They blocked here, and they had the raft screen wide open, and the quarterback didn't read it. Keep on doing what we're doing in protection. McKenzie has opportunities to obviously tuck and go, and he has opportunities to step up and throw. All right, let's keep on doing the job in protection. Get the best shot. Best shot. Defense, you played 48 snaps. They got six points. Offense, we're protecting McKenzie. We just gotta make a few more plays. We got it. That was an awesome first half. It's over. Zero zero. Let's go win this one. You guys got 30 minutes left in his brothers. Let's get it done. And those brothers were tested early in the third quarter as the Tigers went on a 14 and 0 run. For the two yard line, 5 10, 15. Spinning 20 outside, look out, 25 30, 35 40, 45 50 to the right side of the field. Collier will come and make a tackle, but all the way to the UCF 26 yard line. Dropping, looking, stepping up, rolling out left, throws down, man is open, caught, touchdown Auburn. One on one coverage downfield, pass is caught, and tripped up with the 22 yard line is Chandler Cox. He's got a gain of 16, he was all alone as he snuck out. Now you're seeing the effect of being out on the field a little bit, Mark, right there by this defense. And off to Kerry and Johnson will go to the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. And the Tigers quickly back to back touchdown drive. So the Knights have themselves wobbling a bit. Things settled down for the defense as the Knight air attack got back on track. What an incredible catch by the senior tight end, Jordan Aikens. Boy, McKenzie on the run finds Traquan Smith. He's been quiet, but a big catch there. First down at the Auburn 12, trying to tie the ball game up. Play fake, McKenzie back, throws underneath, pass caught. Anderson, 10, 5, to the 2, to the 1-yard line, the search to the end zone, touchdown! Otis Anderson from 12 yards out on a PAT from tying it up. Senior leadership ended the third quarter with a punishing performance. And on first down, the pitch it outside. And nice tackle in it. Jakeem drops the running back, Devin Barrett. Between A.J. Wooten, Pat Jasinski, drop Cam Martin, no gain. They've got third and 13 from their own 29. Stidham dropping, looking, pressure, steps up, sack, got him at the 21-yard line. Jamias Pittman drops him for the sixth sack today by the Knight defense. And as Uncle Mo shifted, from Auburn's sideline to the night sideline. Fourth quarter, coming up, Auburn's gonna punch. We're tied at 20. They're not ready. They're not ready. They're not, we're gonna eat today. We're gonna eat today. Finding the rhythm in the arm of their American Offensive Player of the Year, UCF once again took the lead 
a lead they would not relinquish. Throws out, pass caught, Trey Quan. can he break a tackle? He does at the 49, 50, he's at the 45, he breaks another tackle to the Auburn 42 yard line. First down, 15 to the 11 yard line. Boy, it was an ankle tackle away. McKenzie rolls out, McKenzie dances, McKenzie's gonna look and throw to the end zone. Caught, touchdown! Dredrick Snelson! Nine yards and a lead for UCM. The magic is back. The magic is back. As Auburn's offense continued to struggle, the fifth-year veteran capitalized on a Tiger mistake. Looks, throws, pass, intercepted! Burkett, 40, 35, 30, to the house! He's gone! Touchdown! Shaquan Burkett, pick six! Boom! We got have turn, baby. We got it. Yeah, no point, baby. The night faithful couldn't rest easy just yet. A quick drive by the Tigers and a missed UCF field goal. The Knights found themselves only up by a touchdown with 2.18 left in the game and a hot Jarrett Stidham under center. Looking, pressure, throws, pass, is caught first down, 34-yard line. If I'm coach, I'm going to say, hey, find 33, and let's get a man on him some way, somehow. He's got time. He looks, he throws, his pass is going to be caught at the 21-yard line. Catch is made by Nate Craig Myers. It's a first down to the UCF, 21. Stidham. Back to throw, pressure, throws it up towards the end zone, pass is going to be intercepted, intercepted! Antoine Collier picks it off! Antoine Collier, the true freshman, with pressure, Stidham threw it up, he picks it off, and with 24 seconds to go, perfection awaits UCF! One knee left, no better moment than a victory formation. And the final frost will end in perfection. The UCF Knights will do something no one else in college football can claim. Play them all, win them all, unbeaten, 13-0. I'll be honest with you, I got tears, buddy. I love it, I love it. These kids did it. <laughs> hey, 13-0, you already know what it is. SEC, we don't care. 13-0, let's go, baby. Who can with the big boys? Who can with the big boys? Yep, believe it or not, it's still real. They did it. And for you, Night Nation, a special farewell. Back to UCF program for a wonderful season, man. Being up back to back each week, every game. Y'all really don't understand how much we appreciate that, man. Y'all help us come this far. Y'all help us become undefeated. Love UCF forever, man. Forever night. Peace out, baby. Father, champion, and the nation's only undefeated coach left with one final message for his brothers. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, is that all right? I'm gonna keep a lot of things real here. I showed up two years ago, two years ago, and I saw a bunch of guys that didn't even wanna be in the damn building. The guys that didn't work together. Uh, I didn't know what, how the hell we were gonna get that fixed. I thought it was gonna take four or five years to get the thing to maybe win a conference championship. What you guys did is freaking impossible. It's not even un unbelievable, it's impossible. From 0-12 to 13-0 in two years. It's incredible. Hey, let me start with this. What got you guys here is the brotherhood. It's the love, it's the work ethic, it's the togetherness, it's the unity. I don't care if I'm your coach or somebody else is your coach, never forget it. All right, you take it with you when you leave UCF, you take it into everything else. Together, a group of people like this can accomplish anything. I'm going to be the biggest UCF fan in the world for those of you that are staying. For those of you leaving, I'm so glad you got to experience a year like this before you got out of here. All you young players at this school, you guys can keep on accomplishing this stuff every year if you keep working like you worked the last two years. Okay? I'm going to go try to get another group of guys to play together and to love each other like you guys. But never forget it here. Okay? I'm. I'm not proud. I'm not even really happy for me right now. I'm just so happy for you guys, okay? Coming back and trying to help you win this thing, if I'm keeping it real, I didn't think we had a damn chance because of all the circumstances surrounding it. 
but you guys found a way to dial it in. You guys found a way to play harder than them. And just like every other game this year, you guys found a way to get it done. I'm honored to have been your coach. Love you guys. Love you, coach. 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 Love you,